Good morning, fellas. It is the opening day of duck season here in central Kansas, and we're going to be heading out to some public land to do some duck hunting. I'm out here with the same crew that I went out teal hunting with for the opening weekend. There's a large amount of birds in the area right now, and we've been getting a lot of rain lately, so that means there's a lot of sheet water on the fields and birds are literally everywhere out here. So hopefully we will get out and shoot our limits of ducks and have a great time doing it. Our plan A kind of fell through, so we're heading out to the public land to get it done out there. Before we get too far into today's video, I want to let you guys know about today's sponsor, and that is Vikings War of Clans. It's an app that you can download on your phone and play when you're having slow days in the duck blind. Vikings War of Clans was inspired by the famous strategy and RPG games of the early 90s, like Age of Empires. What makes Vikings World so addictive is that more than 20 million online players are constantly changing the way the game evolved by never ending fighting over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. You guys can support my channel by downloading this game for free through my links in the description box below and you guys can get 200 gold coins in reward for going through my links. And don't forget to add me on the game through the username Outdoor Limits. I really like this game because of the amazing graphics and just kind of like how the game never really changes and it's always interesting to log in and play and it really kind of reminds me of Age of Empires which I played a lot as a kid. So if we have a slow time in the marsh today, you know, between flights of birds or whatever, it gets a little boring. I'm gonna whip out my phone and play a little Vikings War Clans. So I encourage you guys to click the links below and check the game out. But we're gonna get the boat loaded up here real quick and head out to the marsh. Well, everything is all set and ready to go. We're gonna be running a basic just J-hook decoy spread. We got breakfast a cooking on down there. And anybody know what time it is? 6.30. We got 30 minutes or so until shooting time, so we're gonna snarf down a little bit of egg and ham sandwiches and kill some ducks. Oh my right. god, that's some bitch about hitting me in the forehead. It's a coot. <laughs> what was it? Coot? Coot. Yeah. That's a blast away. That's a long field. Pow pow, coots. Oh, they're gonna get it. Right here to the right. Tighten front. Tighten the decoy. Shot some. some that shot. Watch it. Okay. Right in the channel. You're good. No, you're good. One more coot right I there. Can, I didn't that was a big duck, wasn't it? That was a big. There's one right here. Right on top, right on top, left, top. Right there, right above you. Oh, oh, my. Nailed him! <laughs> Nailed that coot! Yes! <laughs> to the right, to the right, to the right. So Coming in excited. hot. One more coot right here. Oh, I'm gonna blast him away. Two coots right here. Here's the third one right here. Oh, this third one. Get it, watch this. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yes! Coots, baby! I'm two for two on coots. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. Yes. I'm Jack. <laughs> Four, three coots. Three coots on three for three. Well, I like two and three quarter bars. Oh, them half. Right here on top. All day long, baby. Oh, <laughs> I'm four for four! You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna you ever seen anybody shoot a limited kid before the sun comes up? Oh, all day. <laughs> That's a little far. Well, we've been. Oh, three on top, three on top, three on top. Kill them. Ah! Oh, <laughs> click! 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds like World War Three out here. Kind of reminds me of Till season opener last. Right there. Nice shot, Gage. Nice, Gage. See him again if you can see him. I, I, I got a mark on him. Someone's. All right, I'm gonna go out and get my cooch real quick. <laughs> go grab my spoonie. Got it. I don't want water swatting. Right there. Oh my God. You got him. 
Okay, been trying to update you here for a little bit, but we've been shooting a lot of coots. I mean, Connor's been shooting a lot of coots. I think we got three, two or three ducks down. Two, three, three, three ducks down. I haven't shot yet because I've been on the camera. So hopefully we'll get some action in here pretty soon, but it sounds like World War III out here coming in front. Oh, right behind. Okay. It's fun time out here. Let's go shoot some ducks. Shoot some more ducks. Maybe we'll shoot 15 coots for fun. Funsies. I just don't want to go through the aperture. There's a coot to your right. That's a perfect shot. Kill it, something. Nice wow. shot. Okay. There you go, Gage. Hey, Gage, can you grab that one? Try to got me a coot. Let him drive his real Hell yeah, Cooper. Cooper, we lost our Cooper for the year. There you go. Right, there right, you go. Right, right, right. Oh, that's You should be filming that. This mother. Look at that going in there. This little. Their lips got to hurt. I gotta breathe sometimes, you know. This is a very interesting hunt. We've shot a bunch of coots and some teal and a gadwall, and the birds are just whew, way up in the air. They're buzzing, not doing much of anything. They're getting shot at everywhere out here. There's not as many shots as there was earlier. Like it's died down quite a bit. It's a nice little coot shoot though, I'll tell you that. I think what's going to happen is later on in the morning the birds are going to work a little better after things settle down a little bit. Low flying coot coming right at us. How many? 15. Oh, those are ducks. <laughs> ready? 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 Take them. Yeah. Woo! Smoke that one! Feathers are flying everywhere. I didn't... Oh. Oh! That was a deep one. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hate that. I'm gonna hate that. I'll be back in about 20, 30. If I shoot another duck, I'll let you know. Holy sh! He smoked that. <laughs> he did. Right over top of you, Josh. Come in, come in, Connor. Right here, Connor. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on! You're gonna wow. make me go Oh nice my shot. god! Holy Ouch. Wow. <laughs> so, that was a little bit of a long walk for that teal I shot. Got four. I don't know how I made that one shot. Like, that was just... Just opening day desperation, you know. Should try and shoot a duck. Drilled it on the third shot. Like, I'm still, I'm still amazed that I made that shot. We also changed up the game plan. The blind, it's hard to see out of, and uh, so we're, we're sitting, just down here, tucked in the cattails. We're gonna shoot some ducks down here. I can only shoot two more, so uh, I'm gonna be a little selective with my shooting today. Maybe we'll get lucky, pintail, gadwall, whatever. Widgeon. I want to shoot a big duck. Tell you what though, it's a good day for shooting ducks. Nothing better. Kill a bird. Woo! Smoke. Come on! One more! Oh! oh nice shot. Shot. You got a mark? Yeah. You get them? Yeah, two. Both three. of them? Three. Three? You got I three? I shot that one back here. Late. Or El Boings. Just your average uh, opening day out here. Nothing wants to decoy. It's all about shooting 30 plus yards out, drilling them. We have we have gotten some good shots inside the decoys, but a lot of this is just pass shooting. There's just so much happening right now. These ducks don't know what's going on. Difference between last weekend and this weekend is pretty unreal. Like going from hunting a this coot flying away. Going from hunting a private marsh on... <laughs> nice! Excuse me, sir. 
thank you. Going from hunting a private marsh in like a bean field area to hunting this, the difference is nuts. It really is. Like Nebraska, Kansas, like that's one thing, but this is just so different. Hey. One shell made it count. <laughs> I'm shooting a modified choke, bro. Well, he was at 10 yards. <laughs> oh, there's so many coots over there. Yeah, you can sneak through those reeds and shoot like five. Well, I shot my limit of six blue wings. Actually, five blue wings and one green wing. But, I'm sure as you guys figured out, I didn't record the whole thing on my head camera. Except for like that last shot. Because I'm a freaking idiot. I'm hoping my other camera up there got something today. Really, really hoping it got stuff. But, yeah. Connor, how many you got to shoot? I need to shoot four. You need to shoot four, Gage needs three. I need to stop wasting my time on kids. So yeah, these guys still have a few birds to shoot, so I'm gonna film them on this camera and hopefully give you guys a little bit more duck hunting content than you have right now. Because I'm an idiot. I'll take the blame for that one. That was that was my fault. Well, Josh. Are you gonna blame the coots? It was the coots' fault. <laughs> Literally. Because I, I flipped the camera. the camera on to shoot oh, that coot. Oh. Kill one? Thought about it. Right at you, Connor. Right at you, Connor. Right at you, Connor. Shoot, isn't it? Yeah. Let's shoot him. Okay. I was just, I think it was. Well, guys, we're going to call it a day. It's about 1030. It was a good day. It was a weird day. Definitely a weird day. I'm really hoping I can make this video into something. Just fingers crossed. Just stuff happens, but definitely a weird day. That's for sure definitely a weird day we're gonna get packed up here and i will show you the birds when we get back well here we are we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen blue wings one green wing one shoveler one gadwall and five coots So that's pretty much it for this hunt. I'm gonna wrap this up when I get back home. We're gonna take care of these birds and I'm gonna hit the road. I got a wedding to go to, so um, got a blast. It's like 12 o'clock, gotta be ready to go by five o'clock. Yeah, good day, real good day. So guys, today's hunt was definitely a little bit of a different one. It wasn't quite what I expected going into it. With it being opening day and tons of birds in the area, I figured it'd just be like pow, 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 like super fast shooting, but it wasn't necessarily the case. It was just a couple flying by here and there. Nothing really decoyed. We had a couple of groups that liked to decoy and whatever, but a lot of it was just past shooting these birds. There's just so many people in the marsh, they were just getting bounced around. They didn't know where to go. I think that had an effect on how this hunt went. The coots definitely made things pretty fun. Connor was all about shooting coots. He brought like four boxes of shells. Like, oh, I'm gonna shoot my limited coots today. But we only ended with like five coots in the bag, so. Have fun eating those, Connor. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I go out and shoot a couple of coots and do a kill and cook video? I, th I think that'd be fun. I think it'd be a real good idea. Let's see, let's see how good coots actually taste. One problem we had was that when you shut the doors on the blind, you can't see anything. So I was on the end and I was poking my head out, keeping my eyes out. But I think once we moved out of the boat and just sat in the cattails, that made things a lot easier. One, we had more mobility to shoot the birds and two, we were able to see them coming. A little bit blind modification would definitely help on that boat. Pretty sweet. I know I forgot to show you guys the boat again. I'm sorry, but you know we'll probably see it another time. Other than that, it was a great hunt. It was a fun time getting out there. We had a few laughs, shooting coots. Like, who isn't going to laugh when you fold a coot? Other than that, it was a great hunt. It was a fun time getting out there for the opening day. My season still doesn't start until October 27th, so I've just been traveling around like a madman trying to get some content, go out duck hunting. Like, it's fun but I'm also ready to get on my own stuff and really put my work in and not just be like, hey man, you got birds? Okay, let's go hunt. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really looking forward to season starting up on the 27th. 
Also, if you guys want to pick up a shirt like this, click the link in the description. This is the uh, October shirt of the month, and so check that out. Also, all my apparel is on the website as well. So links are in the description of this video. Follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.